Hey guys, it is Mark Coe for 3rd of April. Just wanted to take a look at markets today, show you a little bit of what we're doing in the room here. So, just so everybody's aware, I um, like to lay out the U.S. session, and um, I'll put it on Twitter, and it's a, it's a great little tool for people to kind of get their, their bias and the direction they want to trade. So I want to show, uh, for example, today, um, 3rd of April, so at... 8 a.m., 9 a.m., this is what I write. And so I'm, I'm basing this off of a, a four-hour look. Um, I'm giving the bias. I call it the count here. Starting the U.S. session, so I have euro dollar short, pound dollar short, dollar yen long. So as you can see, we're looking at long dollar positions, short gold, um, crude is long, and e-minis are long. So that all my subscribers have to start the U.S. session. So I'm going to show you how some of these markets played out. And again, what I look at, what I look to do here is trade the levels in the direction of the uh, bias. So as you can see, euro dollar sell count laid out very easily. So again, edge, we're looking sell side at an edge. So here is the move into, um, into 815. It is a sell side move into 123 I don't know we'd call it 2315 from that point reacts down to support so with direction sell side about a 60 60 plus tick move again on one standard lot that's a six hundred dollar move okay that's euro dollar now let's look at crude oil crude oil has a long bias not much of an edge to work against here um, not much of an edge to work against, but a little bit of bottom edge to deal on here. And so crude was not very volatile market today. Again, it was buy side preference into the U.S. session. So really, this was the only opportunity was the dip down into, again, the highlighted box area. Those are known as levels. That stuff's all marked um, early in the session. So this was at uh, 10 a.m. So again, about two and a half hours of heads up here for this one. And um, you can see the reaction again down into 63.10. This resulting move, I don't know, 600, 670 per contract, so roughly a 67 tick move. Again, in the direction um, long. Let's take a look at e minis. E minis were, to me, one of the more exciting markets of the day. And so, what I told the room and everybody this morning was essentially this 25.79 area was really key. And if you start to see movement below it, um, it should start to pick up steam. And I said, the next thing that's key on top is 2600, a failure to reclaim, it's not going to be good. So we tested both extremes. And again, it was buy side bias from early morning. This is at 1015. So again, think about it. These are the levels marked 26, I'm sorry, 2579 was highlighted for all of my subscribers before the day starts, before the U.S. session starts. So this is what it looks like trade down into it. That resulting move, 25.79 above 26. Again, that's a thousand dollar per contract potential there. You want it again? This is at 2:30 in the afternoon, exact same level. This one gets a much bigger reaction. Uh, 25.79 trades up to just shy of 26.20. So you're talking uh, 40 handle move in the S&P. That's a $2,000 per contract move. Now think about just in just what I've showed you, three markets. You're talking crude oil, you're talking euro, and you're talking e-minis. $600 plus in euro. I'm talking the movement. I'm not telling you you would grab every tick out of it. The point I always try to make is can you take some money out of a market that's doing that when you have the direction pointed for you? All right, let's look at a few other markets. So here's pound dollar. Again, pound dollar was sell side. So all these are highlighted again to start the U.S. session. So pound dollar sell side. There's not really a lot of top edge to deal against here in the um, in the pound market. There's not a ton of edge to deal against. There was some very small opportunity, you know, late afternoon, but again, not a huge, huge market. So again, think about it. You, we've now looked at four markets. Three of them have uh, provided decent profit opportunity. Another one, dollar yen. So dollar yen was long side. Now these are all, again, these are all uh, markets we're looking at prior to the U.S. session. And um, so you have a lot of preparation here. Um, so here's dollar yen. All it was was buy side. There was, again, there was not a lot of dip. The only level that was built was built higher up. 
but again you're pointed in the direction you want to be focused on long side so your choices in dollar yen become do I pay it higher up do I pay it a higher level what you're always looking at with long trade is buying against an edge that that's what you're always looking at um, short trade you're always selling into top edge so dollar yen did not provide a lot of dip the bias was correct but it just did not provide a lot of dip so again not every market are you going to get an opportunity but think about the opportunities that existed today third of april um, short euros long s and p's long crude oil there, there were some good opportunities and think about it with a one contract uh, one standard lot to be able to see over two thousand dollars in profit potential is pretty amazing intraday right so for third of april it's mark co i hope you guys all had a great day and we'll chat with you soon cheers